Hi, this is Susie Cheel, and this is The Abundance Show. This is where we learn to love ourselves into abundance so we can live that really abundant, prosperous life. And I am so excited today because I have with me Alyssa. Now, let me see. Will I get your name right? <laughs> Bootle Gary. What is that? Close, very close. Bootle. Very close. Des had me practicing yesterday. <laughs> um, right. So, and what's wonderful is Alyssa and I, um, we work together in um, the same business. We're both uh, coaches in different areas. And we've actually met in person. So, some of you will have seen, I put a photo of us up. When we got together in Sydney uh, last year for yeah. coffee. So just um, as we always start the Abundance Show, and because it's the 1st of um, October, it's a new month, mm. it's the last three months of the year. Mm. And this is perfect for today because we're talking about mindset manifesting and um, Alyssa is going to be sharing some of her visioning stories that have actually manifested for her. I have used this, these tools and things um, to heal myself and to create the business that I have now. Mm. But what we always share is a card for the day. And because it was October, I drew 10 cards. But the first, the second one, the first one that came out was expect miracles and then imagine. And I think that is perfect. You'll get to see the recording of um, the re reading for the month later. But I thought that was perfect as we're going to be talking about our mindset and it's our mindset that really empowers us to manifest what we do want in our life. So i now like to introduce you to um, Alyssa. Alyssa is known as the manifesting queen but she is a very powerful mindset coach and i'm going to hand it over to her to share her story briefly before we go into her sharing some of the ways that you too um can be working with her this week as well it's just very exciting welcome Alyssa. Amazing. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be on, on this show with you today. Um, yes, so a little bit about my background and, and history when it comes to manifesting and, you know, calling in that abundance and, and using your mindset to really call in and drive in what you desire in your life. It really comes down to a decision, you know, and when I look back over my life for such a long period of, of, of um, my life, I was very much in, you know, that, that sort of victim, I'll just leave things to chance, you know, waiting for things to come to me, waiting for things to happen, hoping that things will change and wanting things to get better and sort of understanding and knowing what it looks like, but never really shifting into the energy and vibration of what it is that I want but also never actually deciding. And I always say to people that when you truly want something, you need to decide. You need to decide that it's 100% what you are aligned to, that it is yours, it is done. And, you know, everything in this world has an energy, has a vibration attached to it. And as we move around in our, you know, our... I always say that we're just really, you know, souls in our in our earth form on this planet. And as and we're all vibrating at different energies, you know, this hat has a certain energy and vibration. The water on my table has a certain energy and vibration. The chair that I'm sitting on has a certain energy and vibration around it. And we just get what we are an energetic match for because everything is energy. And when I started to slowly understand that when I was going through my own sort of journey, because like I said, you know, take it back seven, eight years, I wasn't in a great place, you know, within myself. Like I said, I was very much a victim to my life, a victim to my circumstances and every, it was everyone else's fault that I wasn't where I wanted to be and I wasn't really stepping up and creating what I wanted to. So, you know, after going through, 
such a journey and I don't know how, how deep you really want me to go into that, but just realizing that, you know, I really had to do something. I had to shift where I was at. I had to make that decision when I got to a pretty dark place in my life. And so I got my first coach and mentor and she really started to help me see things differently. And then I sort of went on my own path of understanding vibration and manifestation and, you know, journaling. And I started doing that and step by step, really slowly, I started to, you know, I would journal something or I'd visualize something and then it would come to fruition. It would happen. It would show up in my reality. And that's when I really honestly became pretty obsessed with, you know, manifestation and, and energy and, and vibration and, and manifesting what we want. And that's fantastic, Alyssa. And as part of that, did you find, um, you know, when things weren't working for you, were you actually, did you think you loved yourself then? Or have you at the same time to get to this point had to learn to, you know, really love yourself? What I say to people when I first start working with them is, okay, can you stand in front of that bathroom mirror and say, I love you? And I know when you first start, it's hard, but it's a, it's a testing point for all of us as to where we're at with um, fully accepting ourselves. So I'd just like you to share where you came from in that self-love journey as well. Yeah, no, that was, that was a, a huge thing for me, such a massive thing for me, because when I started um, on my journey, that was actually something that I really struggled with was loving myself in fact I, I didn't love myself very much at all you know I went through um, bullying in in primary school and then a bit of high school because I was always a little bit chubby and you know I had some horrible things said to me over the years and on top of that I was dancing you know I was a dancer literally since I was three since I could walk I was dancing and I danced for probably about 24 25 years of my life and you know, anyone in that industry knows that it's quite competitive and it can be quite nasty and, you know, horrible at, at the best of times. So, you know, a combination of all of that just saw my confidence and my love for myself just diminish. Like there was, there was none. And slowly, slowly, I, I um, you know, I started to cultivate that and, and bring that back, I guess, like I said, when I had that line in the sand moment and, I could see clearly that things needed to change. I then learned that, you know, loving myself was the was like really the core of this entire process. Like if I was really going to heal and shift into alignment and, and manifest what I really desire in my life, it, it's going to start with me. It always starts with us, you know, and it's an internal thing. So I had to learn how to love myself through the process and, not just love myself when things are going well, being able to love myself when things aren't going well, when I'm not showing up as my best, when my ego has got in the way, when I'm not manifesting what I want. You know, it's being able to still love yourself and know that you're worthy in those moments. That's when the magic really starts to happen. Mm. It is. It's that knowing, knowing and that thing. It's the self-acceptance of you as you say, whether you're having a good day or a bad day or you're feeling good about yourself, mm -hmm. um, once we fully accept ourselves, we love our hair, we love our eyes, our face. We don't worry if, you know, we've got just a spot up there, a spot. You don't worry about how you're showing up because what's, what's shining through, and I got this from when I first met um, Alyssa, was is shining through your soul. Your heart shining, and it's um, and sometimes we don't see it. People often say to me, I often ask people, "Why are you following me? You know, why do you want to friend me on Facebook?" And they say, oh, "I just love your energy," and I'm not always conscious of that. Um, and I think it can be the same for for all of us in that thing. I'm just trying to put us side by side. Um, yeah, so in that case, I think, you know, it's so important. And that was obviously such a big learning for you too, Alyssa. Oh, absolutely. Exactly like you said, you know, I would receive 
um, compliments for years and I wouldn't accept them because I was, we're, we're always the last ones to see it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a big part of manifesting is really um, being able to receive. You know, I often say to people, if you're not receiving the money that you want, if you're not receiving the income that you want, the, the success, the team, the business, whatever it is, if you're not receiving any of that, that's not a money issue. That's not a, you know, a business issue. That's a receiving issue. So mm -hmm. it's being able to receive in all areas of our life, you know, being able to receive those compliments and whatever sort of love and abundance is coming to us, we're so quick to sort of shut that off because we don't feel worthy. That's absolutely right. It's like that, uh, it's like you compliment somebody on, um, you know, a jumper or something that they're wearing or have, you know, I say, oh, that old thing or something like that. And I had to get out of that. And I mean, I've been told by a mentor coach that I was actually blocking my own receiving by how I was, um, yep. how I was putting myself forward and things like that. So I, I totally agree with you with that. Now let's move over to the um, manifesting side. Um, I one of this one of the uh, when I met um, Alyssa last year, she was living in Bondi, I think Bondi Junction. Yes, and, yeah, right next to Bondi. And earlier this year, I saw she had moved into a dream, her dream home. Um, that overlooks the water and I just like you to share with people because that is a real to me that's um, a vision board a visioning exercise and um, and you have manifested something that I'd love you now to share with people how that ex how that came about for you so the thing about manifesting and, you know, obviously teaching manif manifestation for so many years now and, and having really worked on it myself, the thing I always say about manifestation is the steps don't change. The fundamental steps never change. It's always what we are available for, our capacity to receive and how big our container is. You know, if, if we want to receive more, we need to be able to have a container that can hold more right? So the steps when it comes to calling in what we want never change. And, you know, I created an entire program called Master Manifestation around, funnily enough, you say that the exact steps that I actually um, utilized to call in my first apartment that we moved into, because back then, a couple of years ago, when we moved into that, that was actually our like next big step and achievement. So that was huge to us back then. Then, like you said, we moved into the place that we're in now. And that was like, another step up again and you know it really comes down to you know the, the steps to manifesting is really getting clear mm -hmm. so getting clear on what it is you want the universe loves clarity mm -hmm. when we aren't clear on what we want the universe doesn't know what to give us it's like when you go to a drive through right imagine you're going to a, a starbucks drive through and you get to the drive through and you're like um oh i'd like to have you know a almond cappuccino actually no latte, <laughs> you know, soy like but the person that's serving you is going to look at you and go what do you want like come back and you know what you want right when you clear and you walk up to the window and you're like i want an almond cappuccino and and that's what you want you go to the other side and that's what you're going to get right the mm -hmm. way that we manifest our dreams and desires is exactly the same it's like you're ordering it right you go mm -hmm. to a restaurant and you've got to be specific with what you want because that's what you're going to get most of the time, right? So it's, it's having clarity. And a lot of people, you know, through teaching people manifestation for so long now, pe a lot of people actually aren't clear. They think they're clear. They think they're clear. They think they know what they want. But when you get down to the specifics around it, they're actually not very clear at all. Um, so it's getting really clear on that. Then obviously your belief comes into it, right? And, and this is... This is a big thing for people because people like to see things before they believe it, right? And and we all know that in order for you to see it, you've got to believe it first. It, it Absolutely, first, yes. Right? As so, Wayne Fire wrote a book many years ago about it. Exactly, right? So 
the belief a lot of the time comes down to the subconscious um, programming and wiring and the limiting beliefs that we've got going on in our subconscious that we really can't see from a conscious level because 95% of what we manifest of how we show up every day is coming from a subconscious place. 95%. Mm. That means only 5% of what we are actually creating is conscious. We're aware of it. That is huge. It is huge. It really is when you think about it. So if 95% of you isn't um, wired properly for you to Mm. actually manifest what you want, and you're not aware of the limiting beliefs that are in the way, it's going to stop you from calling in what you want, mm. right? So it's the belief really comes down to looking at, okay, so why don't I believe I can have this? What, what are the bad things that I feel might show up if I actually allow myself to have this? Because a lot of the time, you know, we've got a lot of shame and guilt around actually having what we want. And it comes down to, um, you know, feeling like we're going to lose love and connection we actually allow ourselves to have what we want right and i could go into that in such a big way but that's that's you know that's the, another yeah that's for another time and yeah. um you can always contact a listener yeah. to get her manifesting um course yes. but it is it's so amazing isn't it because this is yep. where when you're talking about getting really clear it's um i suppose it's a bit like one of the things when I first trained um, with Law of Attraction with Michael Lothier, of the clarity through um, contrast exercise, mm-hmm. where, you know, look at all the things you don't want in you, you know, you don't like, you're not happy with, and then turn it around so that mm-hmm. you're actually focused on um, the positive things and what, mm-hmm. you, as you say, what you do want. What What we find is so many people... Um, think about what they don't want more than what they do want Mm -hmm. so it's um, as Tony Robbins says we can do it in a heartbeat we can make that decision in a heartbeat yep what do you think it is that stops so many people making the decision in a heartbeat it's exactly it's exactly what I said two of the two top human needs in society is love and connection yeah that's right everything that we do is driven by love and connection Mm -hmm. so if for whatever reason we feel that by having what we desire is going to take away any sort of love or connection then we're going to self-sabotage our way there we're going to um get in the way of actually receiving what we want because we don't feel worthy or we feel guilty or we've got stories around why we, why we can't have it. And a lot of people actually don't make that decision because they believe that once they get there, somehow they're going to lose that love and connection. Whereas what happens is the more you love yourself and the less you're worried about what else is going on. And as you know, Christy and I talked yesterday about the importance of letting go letting go what no longer serves us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to let go of those people who we think do love us. And then we create the space for the people that we can serve and the people that we want to connect with, Um, which can bring us to, um, I mean, probably if I hadn't chosen um to become what i'm calling a digital marketer if i hadn't chosen that path i would not have met Alyssa. Mm-hmm. i wouldn't have said one day oh i'm going to be in bondi i'm going to be in sydney i'd love to have a coffee with you mm-hmm. and i it's just it's so nice to be sitting here now knowing that you know we've actually had a conversation shared a coffee and give one another a hug and sort of feel really comfortable. And I'm yep. really looking forward to um, when I have time in Sydney to come and visit you at Vaucluse because it looks amazing. Definitely. So this week um, I'm involved with, as Christy and I spoke about yesterday, but with Alyssa and another one of our colleagues, um, Chantel, in learning how to 
Ignite Your Momentum Online. And um, Alyssa, would you like to speak um, to, I don't know how it came about or, and what, I mean, I'm just so excited about what um, people can, are going to get in this five days. Mm. Yeah, me too. So mm. the way that this came about is, you know, like you mentioned, myself, Christy and Chantel really came together and sort of said, how can we support people that are in the online space? Because they understand the power of the online space. Mm. I think a lot of people are waking up to the power of what we can create online. Mm. And we sort of came together, you know, the three of us successful entrepreneurs, we've all been entrepreneurs online for a good, you know, seven, eight years now. Mm. We've all built six, seven figure businesses. And we, we understand that there is the, the mindset around actually creating what you want and also the strategy, the skills that are needed, you know, around creating what you want. And we've all three of us have got so much um, wisdom and knowledge when you put us three together, because we've, you know, in, in a lot of ways, business, online business, even seven, eight years ago, was so much more challenging than what it is now. We didn't, have, we didn't have half of what we have available to us now that makes it so possible for people to start generating a really good income and business online. So we've sort of come from that space where we had to wear a lot of the hats and do a lot of the hard yards. And now we're, we're coming together to teach everyone what we know, but to also share with people how they, how they can, like you said, ignite their, yes. their online presence, their business, but also themselves in, internally because it all does come back to self. What, who you are on the inside is what you're going to attract on the outside. So when you bring business and energy and strategy together, you really can create magic. So that's the value that we're going to be sharing with everyone. You know, how we built successful businesses, how we shifted ourselves internally, the strategies and the skills that we've learned. We're, we're basically laying it all on the line to, um, to share with people over the next week. Yeah, it is so exciting. And, you know, I'm so, I'm so happy just to be part of it and supporting the people that, um, you know, I've already, have already um, joined in there. And it's going, it's that, I suppose the thing is, some people might be thinking, you know, because um, I'm a lot older than um, Alyssa and I've done a lot of this work. But what I found um, since I joined into what for me is this amazing heart-centred community, mm -hmm. which is what I was looking for online, is the, the inner work which I always knew I was going to be doing all my life because I remember somebody saying, haven't you finished doing that yet? No, <laughs> and uh, I realised it's ongoing. But what I've found through working um, with this supportive community and in this business, um, I've learnt more about me and I've become, I believe, a better person because of it and I am able to receive. And I just want to... When you talked about receiving, I always remember Louise Hay sharing. Well, you can go down to the sea with a bucket and you can put a bit of water in. Or you can put a pipeline in because there is so much there for all of us if we are open. Yes. Mm. Yes, it, absolutely. It's all about being open. You know, if you want to receive more, more and whatever more is to you, it, it's about opening up that container and expanding your container to receive because right now what the abundance that you have in your life is is what you're available for so mm -hmm. we've got to open ourselves expand what we're available for so that we can you know receive more and as i said when i've said it was something i came up with last year and i shelved but i brought back is be you become mm -hmm. abundant and yes. this is what i want to share about this business it has allowed um it's allowed me to be really just who I am how I show up with and things I wasn't like that when I first started oh people won't want to know about that but it's a that it allows you to share your gifts mm -hmm. and it's this but this container that we're holding for people over the next five days is if you're not sure be open allow yourself give yourself the gift to receive um, 
this magic, as Alyssa said, the magic and discover the magic of um, what I think is the magic of working online. And look at us. We're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do. We have fun. And what was it, as Christy said yesterday, you know, the more, the more fun I have, the more money I make. The yes. more money we make, the more we impact our lives, our communities and the world. Yes. And, you know, my, one of my biggest values is freedom and yes. to have that true freedom and to make a difference in the world, um, we need to share our skills because people want to hear. Yeah, they do. They do. It's, it's about, like you said, opening yourself, opening yourself up, allowing yourself to um, to receive, you know, what you want and giving yourself that permission to have it. And we're offering you this amazing um, platform to be able to do this with. So. If there's anything that says, oh, I want to know a bit more or I'd really like to join you, just make sure you leave a comment or send Alyssa or me a message saying, I want to know more. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll add you to this special group that's just been set up for, um, yeah, creating this magic, expanding your mindset and looking at maybe it's, it was a draw a line in the sand moment for me when I stepped into this space and that's, you know, it can change lives. Mm, absolutely. And like you said before, be open, you know. And I open my mind. finish on that is yeah. um, being, you know, when you're open, mm. um, as I say, when you're open, your heart's open. So there's more love and when we have more love, we can call in more of what we do want. Yeah. And um, so let's all open our hearts. I will finish on my thing. Open our hearts to love. Remember, you can love yourself into abundance. Thank you so much to everybody who's been watching or watching the replay. And thank you so much to Alyssa for being here. I have really enjoyed having you on this um, Abundance Show. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.